As TESOL progresses, I have learned that I still have been using some conventional teaching methods. You know, that's pretty disappointing when you've been teaching since the early 21st century. <laughs> wow, that makes me sound ancient, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wait, let, let me rephrase it. I mean, it's pretty disappointing, especially when I've been teaching for 13 years. And that still sounds ancient. TESOL has taught me new ways to handle the class. My old favorite high school teacher, from whom I patterned many of my teaching teaching styles, has suddenly has suddenly become obsolete. Imagine the frown on her face if she knows. That is a way I believe should become every teacher's bible or mantra. Whether you are teaching English, science, math, or teaching a little child to change his gross diapers, or clean his mess on the desk and the mess on the table, and soon enough the mess on the kitchen sink, and while you just sit and watch TV. But seriously, I've learned that learning becomes more exciting and exhilarating with an A. If <laughs> 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 it is learning by doing, and if the student is given more opportunity to speak and voice out his opinions to develop not only his knowledge, but also to make him more sensitive about what's going on around him, that's the affected and the committed, right? Yeah. Okay, so he eventually can take action to make his life and the world better, psychomotor. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to add that we aren't just teaching English. English is such an exciting subject to teach. That's why I chose it, even though I majored in math. Because you can discuss anything under the sun, right? Yeah giving English teachers the avenue to teach not just facts or grammar, but also interesting stories and values. I learned that our role as teacher doesn't end in the classroom, because indeed, I got that by the way from Ms. Jan, thank you Ms. Jan, because indeed we are very influential, and that gives us an enormous responsibility and a great sense of possibility, again from Ms. Jan, <laughs> to do many things say to encourage or to discourage and I guess the answer there is obvious and it is to encourage. encourage.